What's up, family? We have a major warning coming directly from the Social Security Administration Office, or SSA. Check this article out right here. Your payments may be delayed within the coming months. Well, guys, apparently they are having some staffing issues at uh, the administration's office, and they want all recipients, Social Security recipients, SSI, SSDI, VA beneficiaries, to know about this so that they don't be alarmed when they don't receive their monthly payments. Now, again, we also have information regarding Social Security fraud and how you need to protect yourself against it. But before we get started, guys, you already know what to do. If you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you could hit the like button as it really helps us grow on YouTube. Now, let's go ahead and start with the video. Starting off, guys, with a little bit of news or information in regards to fraud that is happening to our seniors, to our elderly people. Uh, yes, guys, the Justice Department, they just announced that they are charging about 78 people with $2.5 billion in health care fraud. Now, again, the Department of Justice said that it was charging about 78 people in this particular uh, fraud case. It was a coordinated uh, case of fraud in which uh, the DOJ was able to crack down on it. And yes, the DOJ said that the defendants allegedly defrauded programs used to take care of the elderly and the disabled people. And in some cases, they used their ill-gotten money to buy things like exotic cars, jewelry, and even yachts. What were they thinking? Thinking that they wouldn't get caught? But anyways, guys, among those particular individuals that were charged are 11 defendants accused of submitting $2 billion in fraudulent claims through telemedicine, as well as 10 defendants charged in connection with fraudulent prescription drug claims. So yes, guys, uh, the DOJ announced this information this Wednesday that it was charging these particular people. And apparently, guys, uh, this has been going on for quite some time. Obviously, for them to be able to run up at least two and a half billion dollars. Did you guys hear me with a B billion dollars? How could they actually do this? Well, prosecutors saying that they are filing charges against people in 16 different states in cases that were lodged or unsealed in the past two weeks as part of this coordinated crackdown. And the defendants include, surprisingly enough, physicians and other licensed medical professionals who lined their own pocketbooks, including some doctors who allegedly put their patients at risk by illegally providing them with opioids that they did not need overall. So anyways, guys, uh, this world is just continuing to get crazy. I mean, they just continue to shock us with the things that are going on in this country. Americans, individual people, uh, obviously bad people, they come up with anything. Obviously, they are pretty smart and creative, but they are doing it in a bad way, creating fraud, taking money from our elderly as well as our disabled people. Uh, guys, that is just not cool, guys. So uh, anyways, guys, I hope all of those 78 people serve a long time in jail as well as prison. But anyways, guys, moving on, we also want to talk about an individual, uh, this particular Hamilton man. He was recently sentenced uh, to prison for lying about Social Security. Yes, guys, uh, this particular former Hamilton man was sentenced to jail uh, because he was lying to the Social Security uh, Administration just so that he can continue to receive Social Security benefits which is fraud. Yes, guys, it says that this particular man who admitted to making false statements to receive more than $70,000 in disability payments from the Social Security Administration office has now been sentenced. According to the U.S. attorney, said Aaron Lee Grossman, which is 51 years old, of Washington and Utah, formerly a, of Hamilton, pleaded guilty back in February to false statements to a government agency. Now, again, the court sentenced Grossman to three years of probation with three months to be spent on electronic location monitoring, imposed a $20,000 fine, as well as ordered $71,000 in restitution to the Social Security Administration office. And he is also required uh, him to perform 
perform 150 hours of community service. So I just want to remind you guys, if you are thinking about uh, doing something like this, lying to the SSA or the Social Security Administration Office, just so you can continue to receive a check for a loved one, a Social Security check, guys, I just want to remind you that these are the type of consequences that you can actually suffer from, guys. It is considered fraud point blank guys so uh anyways guys i just wanted to share that story with you but let's go ahead and talk about some uh, drastic information that we just heard directly from the social security administration office and they are sounding the alarm guys yes as you can see right here guys it says that workers at the social security administration office are now sounding the alarm Yes, guys, employees at Social Security Administration Office are warning that the agency, uh, their workforce challenges have become even more troubling over the last few weeks, last few months. And at a recent union rally last week, uh, Social Security Administration workers said that this is all because of low pay that they are receiving, as well as the high turnover rate. And they are experiencing a 25 year low for staffing levels, and it is causing delays guys in the agency's public facing services now what this means to uh, you or social security recipients well guys it means that you might not be able to receive your monthly payment yes guys they are saying that look to address the challenges that we are receiving right now the american federation of government employees is calling for an even larger budget for social security administration office in the fiscal year of 2024 one billion dollars above the white house's initial proposal but again guys like i said they're experiencing some major challenges right now they basically don't don't have enough employees right now and they are saying that this is pretty much going to cause a strain in regards to making sure that Social Security recipients continue to receive their monthly payments, their monthly checks. And so they are sounding the alarm, guys. They are trying to let the American people know that just in case you don't receive your check or your monthly payment or your monthly benefits, uh, it might be because of this. They are short on staff. They don't have enough people. A lot of people are still trying to take off, take vacations, especially as we go through the the summertime and uh, this could affect millions of Americans. I believe 69 million Americans who receive Social Security. Uh, this could affect your monthly benefits being distributed to you either this month or even next month. So right now, guys, the agency, the employees, they are pr pretty much trying to go on strike, if you will. But first, they want to let the American people know, those Social Security beneficiaries know that uh, this actually could affect you receiving your monthly payment. So you definitely want to be mindful of that. Hopefully it doesn't happen, but just in case, guys, if it does, I have brought this information to you today. So uh, anyways, guys, and last but not least, guys, we do want to go ahead and talk about just in case uh, you have the urge or you have some questions in regards to you need to reach out to the Social Security Administration office. Uh, guys, they are having a little bit of trouble with their phones. Yeah, shockingly enough, right? Uh, as you can see right here, guys, that Social Security phone service, uh, they are experiencing some disruptions which are leading to drop calls as well as longer wait times, according to the latest report. Again, guys, this particular information came out as of yesterday, and it says that the COVID-19 pandemic has prompted the Social Security Administration office to prioritize phone over in-person services. But outdated technology and other glitches led to disruptions as well as other things that are happening right now. And they are saying that callers who have been sought uh, for help from the Social Security Administration office in the recent years have reported long wait times, drop calls, as well as inability to access the agency's services. And according to a new report from the Social Security Administration office of the Inspector General found that the agency experienced more than 40 telephone system disruptions between May of 2021 through December of 2022. So again, guys, these particular disruptions came as the agency's limited in its in-person services following the onset of COVID-19 pandemic. And during that particular time, guys, the telephone was the primary option for the public to interact with the agency's employees. But again, guys, uh, like I said, this particular disruptions came between the year of 2021 through 2022. But they are saying right now, guys, that they are still experiencing some disruptions 
but not as many that they have actually experienced during that particular time frame. So just in case, guys, you have questions, you need to know something about your Social Security or either your benefits and you need to call them. Uh, just be mindful of this, guys, just in case you are on the phone on hold for a long period of time or either the phone ends up dropping. I know me myself, I actually experienced that last year when I did call the Social Security Administration office and guys, I was on hold for a long time and then uh, someone picked up the phone and said, okay, may I help you? And then the phone dropped. I was literally upset, guys. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to bring that information to you today. And other than that, guys, I hope all this information in this video was helpful to you today. Well, anyways, guys, hey, that's all we have for you today. But feel free to check out some of the items down below in the description. There are a few ways for you to be able to earn some free money or some free cash, such as signing up with Webull if you are a new customer, where they are going to be giving you 12 free stocks after you deposit like $1. But those particular 12 stocks can actually be worth up to three thousand dollars which turns into some free money overall and this also gets you an opportunity to start your investing journey so again that is just one option down below but be sure to check out all of them in the description but anyways if you enjoyed today's content and you want to see more please go ahead subscribe to the channel it's totally free and if you like today's video then go ahead and hit the like button for us it really helps out this channel as well as it tells youtube to share this video with others. But anyways, guys, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching, and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.